Oh, I thought that was a good idea. That's where the massage was done. That's a little steam thingy. And that's where I just spent the last 15, 20 minutes. Wow, I'm wrecked. In the last episode, we arrived in Rishikesh, a city near Dehradun in the Indian state of Uttarakhand. It is situated on the right bank of the Ganges River and is a pilgrimage town for Hindus with ancient sages meditating in here in search of higher knowledge. There are numerous temples and ashrams built along the banks of the river. The city is where the Beatles came to to practice transcendental meditation. It is known as the yoga capital of the world. All right, <clears throat> checked into the Mustafa uh, hostel here in Rishikesh. I just wanted to show you the view from up here. It's pretty sick, huh? It seems like a big city, but um, but it is like in the middle of nature in the mountains, so it kind of it's big city, but it also feels like we're out like in nature too, which I really have I've really wanted badly after being in Mumbai and then Ahmedabad, so. I want to go check this place out, get some food here in a bit, and uh, take you with me. We started by spending a lot of our time eating some delicious food and chilling out. What do we got? <clears throat> it's a ghee roast dosa. Actually came in the shape of a cone, but we started eating off the top. Um, it's like a crepe made of rice and, and lentils. And then this is some like different dips that you have it with. My favorite is this coconut one. Take a bite. Okay. It's so good. I'm gonna eat it with the coconut one. Mm. <laughs> Crunchy. Tell me tell me what what's what's up with the flakes, rice flakes. Yeah, so this is like a very common breakfast dish in India. Essentially, it's just like this dried rice that you like rehydrate and then cook with a bunch of spices and add some potatoes and peanuts as well. It just makes for like a, it's kind of like Indians don't really eat sweet breakfast. So it's kind of like the oats for Indians where it, so it chooses like a grain and you just add a bunch of stuff in it. Um, yeah, so it's very tasty and it's, it's light as well. You love it? It like hits the spot. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Hi. This food is amazing. Rice flakes. Tell me the flavor. <clears throat> what? Rice flakes. It's like a very lightly fried thing with like just potatoes, peanuts. What are you eating? <clears throat> I'm eating a vegan omelet. So pretty much it's chickpea flour mm -hmm. made with a bunch of veggies. If you eat this every day, it's oh. such a protein rich meal. Oh. It's like it's a much better equipment to like having um, omelets because it's like so much better. Mm. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Enjoy. Good morning from Rishikesh. Just want to have you say hi to a few friends. Alright, just heading out to go explore the town a bit, meet up with Richa for lunch. Uh, let's go see what we can find here. Looks like there's just a ton of cafes and things like that. So <clears throat> it's like a lot of healthy food, you know, fresh food, organic, vegetarian, all kinds of stuff like that. But I guess that's what you can expect when you are in the, the yoga capital of the world.
So I'm probably not going to do any yoga today, but tomorrow, definitely, definitely going to do some yoga. All right. I'm going to go check out this place. I did find parts of Rishikesh B a bit overrun with commercial spiritualism and some trash from the excess tourism. But if you follow the Hindu faith, are a yogi or an Ayurveda practitioner, there isn't another hub like this in the world. There's yoga schools everywhere. Yeah. Should we go there? Like, is there anything in that street? I have no idea. It says there's a music asset. Okay. And... Oh. Let's just go where all the cafes are and we'll that's, that's this way. Okay. Uh-oh. Back up. Yeah, I'm gonna touch the wall. The street's a little wild. Just one lane road. I know, it's pretty wild. Yeah. The uh It's not as bad as I like when we first got here I was like, damn, this is gonna be no, like, tons for of me, traffic. For me it is annoying because there's like Ayurveda. Yeah. Yeah, meditation, silence. I don't want love to on the phone. I check out the classes. Rishikesh has like some of the best yoga gurus in yeah. the world. Yeah. Like those are the ones we should go and check out. Yeah, we, yeah, we probably need to do some homework. Yeah. Okay. So we just signed up for massages at that uh, Ayurveda massage place. Yes. Rich is getting a full like senses, cleansing, and full body massage. And I'm getting colon cleanse. a colon cleanse pack, which includes an enema. <laughs> uh, yes. I'm just what I, when I woke up today, what I thought was I would really like to get a pipe put in my butt. <laughs> it's a bit clean. Uh, yeah, yeah. So are you happy or not happy? I'm like somewhere in the middle. I mean, I hope it's a good result, <laughs> but not exactly excited about the process. Well, <sighs> it seems, seems like it should be a fun <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Wish me luck. Real quick, Ayurveda is a 5,000 year old medical system that uses natural and holistic approaches for keeping your mind, body, and spirit healthy. One hour later. Well, I thought that was a good idea. That's where the massage was done. That's a little steam thingy. And that's where I just spent the last 15, 20 minutes. <sighs> wow, I'm wrecked. On the next episode, we visit the famous Arti in Rishikesh. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Look forward to seeing you next time. Ciao.